हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम इस वीडियो में डिस्कस करेंगे जितने भी एमिनो एसिड्स हमारे बॉडी में होते हैं उनके जो स्ट्रक्चर है वो इजीली कैसे हम रिमेम्बर कर सकते हैं और मेमोराइज कर सकते हैं कैसे इजीली वी कैन रिमेम्बर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एमिनो एसिड्स ओके सो ऑल टोटल ट्वेंटी एमिनो एसिड ट्वेंटी स्टैंडर्ड एमिनो एसिड हमारे बॉडी में होते हैं ठीक है जिसको हम उन ट्वेंटी एमिनो एसिड को हम उनके साइड चेन के बेसिस पे तीन ग्रुप्स में और तीन कैटेगरी में डिवाइड किया है फर्स्ट वन इज एमिनो एसिड विथ नॉन पोलर साइड चेन जिसके साइड चेन में नॉन पोलर ग्रुप्स होते हैं मतलब हाइड्रोफोबिक ग्रुप होते हैं जो एक्वास इन्वॉल्वमेंट पसंद नहीं करते हैं नेक्स्ट इज द आंसर्स पोलर साइड चेन मतलब उनके जो साइड चेन होगा वो पोलर होगा दैट मीन्स हाइड्रोफिलिक ग्रुप होगा एंड उनके कोई चार्ज नहीं होगा एंड नेक्स्ट वन लास्ट वन इज द एमिनो एसिड विथ चार्ज पोलर साइड चेन दैट मीन्स दे हैव द हाइड्रोफिलिक ग्रुप एंड उनके चार्ज होगा ठीक है तो पहले जो ग्रुप है नॉन पोलर साइड चेन जो एमिनो एसिड के नॉन पोलर साइड चेन होते हैं ऐसा नाइन एमिनो एसिड है तो इनके स्ट्रक्चर हम कैसे रिमेम्बर कर सकते हैं तो फास्ट जो एमिनो एसिड होगा वो है ग्लाइसिन जिसका कोई साइड चेन नहीं है वन एमिनो एसिड जिसमें कोई साइड चेन नहीं होता है वो है ग्लाइसिन तो ग्लाइसिन का स्ट्रक्चर में जस्ट यहां पर एज होगा ओके okay? इसमें कोई साइड चेन नहीं है एंड नेक्स्ट इज द एलानिन सो एलानिन स्ट्रक्चर इज द मोस्ट बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड इसका जो स्ट्रक्चर है ए हमको हमको याद रखना पड़ेगा टू मेक और टू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डिफरेंट एमिनो एसिड वो हम बाद में देखेंगे तो नेक्स्ट जो है वो है एलानिन एलानिन के जो साइड चेन है वो है सी एच थ्री ग्रुप यहां पर सी एच थ्री ग्रुप एड करना होगा ठीक है नेक्स्ट जो है वो है प्रोलिन प्रोलिन का एक रिंग स्ट्रक्चर है जो रिंग स्ट्रक्चर को इम्यूनो रिंग बोला जाता है इसका एक इम्यूनो रिंग है तो ये रिंग को हम कैसे ड्रॉ करेंगे जस्ट ड्रॉ दिस रिंग लाइक दिस Just draw this ring like this, and here put the NH2 plus group. So this is the amino group of proline. Okay, so this is the structure of proline, and next one is the structure of valine. How to draw or how to remember the structure of valine? So valine, the first word is V. Okay, so we have to remember the structure of valine will be V shape, the opposite V shape. so we have to draw it like this ch and ch3 ch3 okay it is like valine is a shape of v the side chain will be shape of v okay and next amino acid is leucine leucine is also like valine just we have to incorporate extra one carbon here so at first we have to draw the structure of structure of uh, just incorporate one just put the structure of alanine at first ch2 and next just add the side chain of valine that is c ch3 ch3 h okay or in another way we can remember the structure of leucine the first letter is l so we have to draw the structure of leucine like this this one is ch ch3 ch3 so it is a like the opposite l structure so l structure is present in leucine and v structure is present in valine or in another way we can remember the leucine have one extra carbon in leucine and valine have just v structure and here also v structure is present just one carbon is extra here in leucine and leucine and isoleucine just little bit difference just we have to we have to replace this ch3 group in this carbon first carbon in place of second it will be in second carbon first carbon so remove this and put ch2 and here add 
CH3 group. Okay, so this is the structure of isoleucine. So that so leucine structure is here the CH3 group is present in the second carbon and here the CH3 group is present in the first carbon. This is the main difference between leucine and isoleucine. Okay, next one is the phenylalanine. Next one is phenylalanine and this phenylalanine group has a aromatic ring and the structure is present, the structure is present in the name. Okay, so at first we have to draw the structure of alanine. So alanine structure is this CH3, in place of CH3 we just draw CH2 and just add the phenyl group. Add just phenyl group. Okay. So this is the structure of phenyl alanine. The structure of alanine and add the phenyl group. That is the phenyl alanine. Okay. <coughs> Next one is the tryptophan. So tryptophan. So this is the structure of tryptophan and we have to draw at first. So it is also have an aromatic ring it is also have an aromatic ring and to draw tryptophan at first we have to draw the structure of alanine so ch2 and next just draw this structure like this just draw this structure like this and here just incorporate one nitrogen okay so this is the structure of tryptophan okay and next one is the methionine and methionine methionine remember that methionine and cysteine these are the only two amino acid which have the sulfide group in their side chain but methionine don't have the free sulfide group but cysteine have the free SH group that was it is present in the polar category and it is present in the non-polar category so remember the methionine group so at first add the alanine structure CH2 next just add this group that is CH2 S CH3 okay so this is the structure of methionine and next we will go to the uncharged polar side chain that are the there are six amino acids are present in this group the first one is the serine the most simple structure so at first we have to draw just alanine structure that is ch2 and just add the OH group here. So with the alanine structure, we have to add one OH group. So that will be serine. Okay. And serine and threonine are more or less same. So just add one CH3 group here and it will be threonine. Okay. So next is the glutamine and aspartate. So before going to this, now at first know the tyrosine. Tyrosine to make tyrosine at first we have to draw the structure of alanine next just add an phenyl group with OH okay just add this group with the alanine structure we have to add this group that will be tyrosine next is cysteine so at first draw the structure of alanine just add the sulfide group it will be the cysteine okay so now we will know the structure of glutamine and aspartame so before glutam draw the glutamine and aspartate asper aspartame structure we have to know the structure of aspartate and glutamate so glutamate so glutamate have a structure like this ch2 ch2 c double bond o and OH. This is the structure of glutamate. Okay. Now, 
now if we remove this OH and add here NH2 group then it will be glutamine okay and if and if we remove this carbon here then it will be asparagine okay and if we want to make the aspartate just remove this NH2 group and here place the OH this is the group of aspartate okay so glutamate have 2 a CH2 group and last one is the C double O minus or C double O H okay but aspartate has only CH group only one car carbon here here two carbon and here the glutamine has the OH group replaced by the NH2 group okay here so this is the main difference between aspartate glutamate and asparagine and glutamine okay and the last three amino acids which are the positively charged polar amino acids so how to remember this so lysine to remember the structure of lysine at first just remember that Lysine have 4 CH2 group and at the end 1 NH3 plus group is present. So 4 carbon that is CH2, 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 CH2 and last add the NH3 plus. So this is the easiest easy structure of lysine and next one is the arginine. So in arginine, three carbon is present at first. Next, just add the guanidium group. So this group is the guanidium group. So add NH, C double bond, NH2 plus and NH2. Okay. So this is the guanidium group. This is the guanidium group. And this is the structure of arginine. Okay. So next one is the structure of histidine. And the structure of histidine, this have a imidazole ring. So this ring is known as imidazole ring. And also remember that the total or total three amino acids are present, present which have the aromatic ring. First one is phenylalanine then tryptophan and tyrosine these three amino acids have the aromatic ring but and here now come to this histidine so histidine have an imidazole ring and here the tryptophan has the indole ring this ring is known as indole ring this is the aromatic ring this is the, another aromatic ring it is also called the aromatic ring and this one is the imidazole ring and this one is the guanidium group okay so how to draw the histidine so just at first draw the structure of alanine next draw this structure like this okay so at, and just add one in each here so this is the oh sorry here in this two position the nitrogen will be present okay so this is the structure of histidine okay so in this way we can easily memorize or remember the structures of different amino acids okay thank you for watching this video